Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Last time, we solved all the issues with the dwarves in the underworld of Orzammar. We appointed a new king, King Haramont, and I think that was a pretty good decision to make, because the person who was trying to be king, the prince, attacked us almost immediately. He was really hot-headed, so I don't think he'd make a good king. But we have solved all of the issues with the dwarves, except for this particular dwarf here, Ogryn, who decided to join us. He's trying to, I guess, uh, make some moves on a dwarf around here, so we're going to try and help him out. Try and help his little romantic subplot move along here. And after that, we're also going to help our friend Sten, who seems to have lost his sword. I, you know, friend is a very subjective term, but we're going to help Sten find his sword. And after that, we're going to make our way back into the main game. Oh, and then we have to stop by the party camp because Wynn collapsed in a battle just now. So, I kind of want to ask her about that. Seems like that might be important. What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. <laughs> ran out the day before yesterday. <laughs> and don't say brandy. Oh, no. Why all the liquor shortages? Have you seen how desperate people are now? They just want to drink to forget what's happened. Some ran out of coin and started paying in food, chickens, whatever they had. Felsey! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! <laughs> yeah. So, um... Does your husband work in the tavern, too? Husband? You haven't been in town long, have you? You think this whole town was a chantry cloister <laughs> for all the real men you find here? Real men, huh? You don't happen to know a fellow named Ogryn, do you? Ugh, did you have to bring his name up? I just ate. <laughs> what, you're not his fan? You could say that. You could also say I would rather kiss a deep stalker on the lips than see him again. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? What happened? What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met Ogryn? Oh, yeah. He got drunk. Drunker than usual, even. <laughs> Took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. <laughs> oh, no. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for half an hour before someone pulled it off him. Okay. I can s How did he lose to a piece of meat, if you don't mind me asking? It seems impossible. It was a sodding good roast. <laughs> Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables go! Oh, shut up. All right. I've got to get back to work. Here's five silver. Shut your mouth. Let me talk to her. I got work to do. Ah. I don't need to think about that sodding waste. All right. Ogrid, I don't think she's going to be, uh, don't think she's going to be too happy to see you. Well, what does she say? She hasn't forgiven you for the nug incident. Yeah, that fight was rigged. <laughs> Anyway, the guard said it wasn't worth pressing charges, so she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? She's still single. I knew it. Once you've had Ogryn, what merchant boy would do? <laughs> Go get her, champ. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well... Don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. <laughs> well, look what the nug dragged in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Yeah, he is. I wouldn't say single-handedly, but I kind of want to back him up here, but I don't want to say he took out an army of golems almost single-handedly because that's not true. But he did do a lot of damage to a bunch of golems. You know, it, you know what? Yeah, he did do it single-handedly. He was the only warrior I had. He was just flanked by mages who were killing him the entire time, so yeah. It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> The whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh, he was looking for you, actually. You know, I was thinking about our days together back in Orzammar. <laughs> oh, so you mean you didn't find another girl willing to put up with you pissing on the table? I'm shocked. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like you found any priceless gems up here yourself. I haven't gotten saddled with another duster, either. Seems like an improvement to me. Tell her you've been thinking of her. Try and be nice. Try and... Try and... <laughs> just try and be diplomatic about this. A little bit. I've been thinking about you, Felsey. What do you want, Ogryn? 
Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this guy. Well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Well, you have to admit that Ogren is probably more fun than the men around here. You said there weren't any men around here. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, <laughs> yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. <laughs> I can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings. It might just turn the whole blight around and go home. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what. I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled. You frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. What a weird relationship. What a weird and strangely abusive relationship. <laughs> I still got it. Apparently you do. I'm very impressed. Yep. Still got it. Well, okay. Now that we've done that for you, let's see if we can help out Sten. Back off. I was here first. Scavenger, huh? I'm looking for a sword. Why? You looking to buy one? Yeah, I might. I'm looking for a Kunari blade. A Q what? It's a very, very large blade, I think. Well, honestly, I don't have any swords. The spot was picked pretty clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. <laughs> I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. Where can I find Ferrin? He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. What was your name? His name is just Scavenger. Hey, Ferrin, Scavenger sent me. Oh no, not Scavenger! Alright, well, we'll make a little backtrack to the Frostbag Mountains. We'll just head back to Ozamar for a little bit. And we'll go around the lake, and then we'll come back, and then head towards Denerim again. But, we'll do this little side quest first. Farron, here you are. So, uh, you're back, I see. What can I do for you? Looking for a sword. Where is my sword? I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. Just kill him, Sten. We can search his belongings for it. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. To whom? A dwarf near Redcliff. Dwin, I think his name was. Oy. All right, we're going to go back to Redcliff then. If you're lying, we'll be back. Wait, why would a dwarf want a Kunari blade? I don't rightly know. He said he was a collector. It's none of my business what a person wants with my merchandise once it's changed hands. We'll see. All right. Then I guess we're going to go back to Redcliff. <laughs> we are really getting sidetracked here. And now we head from Orzammar all the way down to Redcliff Village. Sure, why not? As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Yeah, that's me. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. How can I help? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Okay, I'll take a look, I guess. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Lordy, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's look at the Blackstone Irregulars box. Yep, okay, a couple more quests. I'll just pick these up. Sure, why not? And I'll get those done eventually, but I can't, I'm getting sidetracked from being sidetracked. I need to find Devin so I can continue on towards Denerim. I'm looking for a Kunari sword. That's why I'm here. Now, why would you be interested in that? It's mine. 
<sighs> you know, Farron didn't mention the giant he took it from was alive. Yeah, well, why don't you just give up the sword and we'll go. Excellent idea. It's in my strong box. Here's the key. Now, why don't you leave me alone? Excellent. Got your sword. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. Yeah, you're welcome. So I guess you're gonna go report back now? I will return to the Arishok with my report. But it would be a much more thorough and satisfying answer to his question if the blight were ended first. Don't you agree? I agree. So you're staying then? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. Then I'm glad to have you, Sten. Not that I'm going to utilize you a whole lot, but, you know, it's good to have you in the wings if I need you. Indeed, it isn't every Grey Warden who has his own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. Alright, good. Sten approves. I finally won Sten's approval, even though he absolutely hates mages. Good. Now let's just make our way back to camp so we can talk with Wynn about what just happened to her, because she collapsed after a battle last time, and I want to make sure that's not going to happen again, or that she's not in any danger. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Yes, I am greatly concerned. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra. She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day, but I did not survive that encounter with the demon. So you died? So you... No, you're standing right here. You can't be undead. No, I'm not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into <laughs> the cold stone of the tower floor. Uh, old people in their hips, always talking about their hips. So what's the issue if you're alive now? You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Then I believe we'll make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy, I gotta say. I was killed in battle before you met me, and now I'm living on borrowed time. Well, I'll definitely try and utilize you because you are probably, yeah, I'd say you're the most valuable member of my team right now. If Alistair gets killed, I can bring Ogryn or Sten, and if Liliana falls, I can take the elf. But if I lose you, I have to rely on Morrigan, and she doesn't even have healing magic. It would fall on me to cast healing spells, and that is not a burden I want to have. That is not something anybody wants. I think I've gotten on everybody's good side. Yeah, Liliana is enamored with me. Ogren's really happy. Wind's good. Poochie. Morrigan. Alistair is probably the lowest right now, so let's see. I'm just going to keep shoving cake in your face. Oh, thank you. You're just going to eat That's all of this cake nice. until you like me. Oh, thank Love you. me. That's you must love nice. me. I have shoved a bunch of cake into Alistair's mouth. Let's see if he has any new dialogue now. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. We've been heading to Denerim soon for a couple of weeks now. 
I guess we'll make our way there eventually, but yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what business do you have there in Denerim? The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Well, we are going to make our way to Denerim eventually, so it's good news. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Ah, uh, yes, I met Goldana in your little fade fantasy dream, so, eh, I guess she's a real person. We'll make our way there, but, yeah, Denerim, eh. Well, since we're in Redcliffe Village, and Honolith is not too far away, and also we need to go to Flemish Hut for a little bit, why don't we just take care of these two side quests as well? Eventually we're going to make our way to Denerim, but now it's on the other side of the continent, so it's even further away now than it was before. But I guess we have to go everywhere eventually, so Honolith it is. Except we have a battle to do first. It's a dark spawn ambush, isn't it? Yeah. You guys all right? I cast fire on us all the time, and you guys just kind of brush it off. Is Gwyn the only one who's not being... No, we're fine. We're all good, right? Yes, this is why I brought you in. I need healing magic. Thank you. Exactly. Dark spawn. All right. Kill them all. Herlock Omega. Alistair and I will keep wailing on this guy. You guys keep shooting arrows and casting healing magic, please. Let's see what you're made of. Nice. Very nice final kill there. Win. Thank you, Win. You're stunned. You all right? <sighs> that was interesting. And draining. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw that. I didn't know you could do that. Well, yeah, I could. I, know she, I knew she could cast healing magic on us. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I called forth the spirit that sustains me, so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. Am I, am I pushing you to your limits right now? I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Yeah, I'm not really... yeah... Not really the time for jokes. I'm legitimately concerned I'm going to lose you. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. Yeah. All right. Well. Jeez, this is getting worse and worse, Win. I'm really not feeling this. I I've already been to the Circle of Mages, so I don't think I'm going to find another healing mage in this game. So I'm going to try and keep Win with me as long as I can. All right, we have finally arrived at Honolith, and things don't look good. Um, two hanging corpses out here. Yeah, okay, who are you? Hello? Oh, goodbye. Uh, dark spawn, okay. I think that was the last one in the local area. Just uh, grab the gold that they had on them. I don't know why these guys are carrying gold, but I'm not going to question it. Okay, I think I found the golem. Shale. It's Shale Golem. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. There may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise. Well, we came this we, we came all this way. We've gotta do something to it. Oh yeah, we say Dulaf Gar, right? Nothing happened. Maybe the code word is incorrect. And now we're down here in Wilhelm's cellar, for some reason. I think it's the only house I could have entered. Strange crystal cluster. I'll get on it. Just a small piece of loot, that's fine, I guess. Oh, hello! Dark spawner down here, apparently. 
<laughs> I completely missed him. I just cast a fireball on myself. My bad. This is not an ordinary cellar. It's got a lot of weird stuff down here. Got it. Not to mention that it goes on and on and on. Okay, let's keep going down. Farther and farther. Lots of enemies are down here, though. Hello, people that are trapped behind a barrier. Don't mind me. I need to loot some corpses first. Then I'll come by and see what's up with you. Got a lot of dead bodies I gotta loot. Okay, I'm done now. Hello. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? I had no idea there were people in here who needed saving. So we could have just starved down here? The ban gave up on us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. I just came to try and... I brought a control rod for a golem, but it doesn't work. A control rod? Do you mean the one for shale? I guess. Whoa, you're a mage! You're a mage outside the circle. You're an apostate. It's okay. I'm an apostate as well. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! Oh, it killed your father. You're saying it's defective. One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Okay, except the rod doesn't work. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose I can do that. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay, well, I'll be back then. I think I found the girl. And a cat. Oh, look. Someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Okay, who's we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Uh, we have to go. Your father is waiting. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. <laughs> hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Well, the cat does talk. Of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Have the Fade Demons given up on possessing humans and now they're possessing cats now? What are you? I am a cat. Really. Really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Well, I have to leave with the girl. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Uh, sure, whatever. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? No, of course not. It. I'll free you and then you can have the girl. Yeah, just lie to her, sure. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Uh, Alright. Is this a puzzle? To solve... Alright, alright. To solve a pu Oh, it's <laughs> one of these. Okay. Uh... I'll, uh, spend the next half hour doing this, and then I'll get this done. Yeah. Good lord, no. Alright, everyone, get off my puzzle. I have to solve this stupid puzzle. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Yeah, thank you. I don't care.
How? Great. So this puzzle sets me on fire, too. Got it. Good. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Who thought this was a good idea? It's not. It's a very bad idea. This is a very not fun thing to do. The sun, silly. <laughs> not only do I have to solve this puzzle, I have to listen to this little girl talk to a cat constantly. Yes, I can feel the magic fading. Oh. I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Yeah, I lied. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Sick him, boy! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Let's see your true form. Oh, it's another naked demon I'm gonna have to censor! Just cast fire on everything. Oh, there's a bunch of rage demons. All right, just nuke you from orbit, please. <laughs> nuke everything. Okay, good. We're done. We finished the stupid puzzle. We rescued the stupid girl. Let's get out of here. You did it. You freed her. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Well, I came all this way down here. I didn't just come down here to save your girl. That was just something I did on the side. So now we have the control rod and the pass phrase, and we should be able to activate this thing, right? Doolin Harn. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. <laughs> that is what it is. Yes, yes. Just my luck. Yeah, but I'm a friendly mage. How do you know I'm a mage? Just just take a look at me. How do you know I'm a mage? It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. It thinks I cannot sense the energies it commands. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <laughs> <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Dead or gone? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. You didn't care for them. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. So your name is Shale? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must... Yeah, I do. I, I've got your control rod right here. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. <laughs> Fine, attack Alistair. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do that on the off chance it actually works. Uh, walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... 
broken. Um. Okay, so are you gonna go on a killing rampage? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. I could crush them all. <laughs> mm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? I guess. Yes. Simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Use you to fight Darkspawn. The Darkspawn are an evil that must be destroyed, it's true. Though not as evil as the birds. Damnable feathered fiends. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Well, go ahead and come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. <laughs> I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Shale. This should be interesting. All right. I guess we're done here. <laughs> I have another companion. Wow, this roster is almost as big as the one from Mass Effect 2. All right, so now we have a golem on our side. We're just picking up one of everything. We've got an elf, a dwarf, a golem now, a kunari. Um, I guess Alistair counts as a templar. Who else don't we have? Darkspawn. We need a Darkspawn companion. So I think that's what we're going to do next time. We're going to make our way forward and eventually find the final Darkspawn companion, right? All right, well, with our business here in Hanalith completed, it's time for us to get out of here and just continue onward. We're going to make our way south. We need to find Flemeth first. We need to talk to her about Morrigan. Kill her, I guess, because Morrigan was worried that Flemeth would take over her body. So we're going to go assault Flemeth without Morrigan. And then, what else do we have to do? No, predominantly, we just have to make our way to Denerim. So I guess we'll take out Flemeth and then make our way northeast to Denerim. So that's what we'll do next time. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been Dragon Age Origins. Thank you for joining me.